Hello. Cheers. I only have three packages today. Don't think I have any more coming in until much, much later. Probably in February. I'm going to be going out. Oh, yeah. Welcome to another mail day. Whatever. But, um, be going out of town in a couple of weeks. So, this first one coming up. Pretty certain it's not a game, it's a DVD. And it's off eBay. So, see the blue casing on there. Oh, yes. It's a game, Greedfall. This, uh, I'll say this week, but last weekend, wife was looking for different games to possibly play. Recommended this one because also slightly I wanted to play it and um, She ended up going with cyberpunk 2077 which I already had the special edition when it came out so with all the uh, with cyberpunk She's happy with that. I restarted. I'm happy with that so I'm assuming this might be <laughs> maybe similar to me where it says in uh, since it's been, what, a year or two years now, it's worth playing. I, I like the entire, like, colonial aspect with monsters like The Witcher. So, that's why I attracted me to it. And then getting it for five bucks. Alright, king shit with an actual disc. That's all that matters. Hopefully there's not much to download or patches or shit like that. I might throw it in just to download all the patches and just be like, okay, cool. Have it there for, like I did with Cyberpunk. What, uh, three years later? Four years later? Solid. I'll give that, call me a fucking damn thumbs up. Next. This is from Blazing Tomb, from Richmond, Virginia. I think I learned this from Lonnie. So, shout out to uh, Classic Metal Lonnie. Bigger channel than mine, so there's always that, but I mean, he brought me attention to it. I'm pretty certain. So. Do where do's are. Oh, they care about fucking making sure that you get that CD fucking solid. I know there was some uh, shaking up in this. So, must be some uh, goodies in here. Oh, it's the CD. Solid fucking vinyl sticker. Blazing Tomb. Here is the uh, album itself. Really fucking nice. NeilProductions.com.br. So I think from Canada. Either way, this is fucking very classic, very fucking nice layout. Uh, old school death metal. I mean, it's my forte. It's what I like. Besides, oh, there's a poster in here. I was like, did I get two fucking damn uh, layouts? I, I do love that they have this. That's really fucking cool. Usually it's like a six panel. I like it that it's a four panel additional fucking note, basically. And then you have a nice fucking booklet, fucking high gloss. There's all the members for Blazing Tomb. Keep on mentioning that. 
almost to be an asshole, but like with when you high contrast all your features out like this, it looks like it was like two different people and they copy pasted them with fucking like that up old school fucking um magnet ship where you're like eh, he has a mustache, now he has a goatee, now he has a big old fro type of bullshit. And really, that still looks like that. But, fucking excellent fucking um, EP. Really happy to get this. Six songs. Fucking disgusting. Not dissonant, but old school death metal. And when I say that, I'm not saying like retro. Just filthy in the proper ways. Oh, let me put the... Uh, poster back in here so I don't forget. Solid fucking release. Now here is a package from a piece of shit label by a piece of shit guy. He is Phobix Ists. Hates everything that's good and progressive. Who could I ever be talking about? Oh, it's fucking Speed Ritual. Anyway, what did I have? The new CDs I have on deck. I only picked out this one from, you know, the proper amounts of all these being ordered. So, let's start here. This is Irregular Vibrations Hubris. This is the second EP from Irregular Vibrations. Um, my attempt at Ampierre, uh, Orchid, you know, emo violence in general. I have a third album, or third EP coming out. I recorded in one day. I think I recorded this in one day, but... Really happy with the results. I really like how the mix came out. It was pretty simple. I think I did uh, 30 copies for this. Oh, I didn't even say how many copies. SRR. I think that's 154. Fuck. I can't even read my own fucking damn layout for shit. But anyway, if you like Ampere, you like emo violence, you like scrams, that's what I do. Been wanting to do it for a while. Been doing it in this project. And I have a follow-up EP. I think it's all going to be just EPs. I don't think I can do a dedicated album. I'm too scatterbrained for that shit nowadays. But, like, if you like Bucket Full of Teeth, Ampere, Orchid, or um, Welcome to Plague Year to a degree because they do the long form more post. There you go. I'll post some pictures of that. You can find it on Bandcamp. Next up. Now, this has been a while. I realized I did not buy the fucking. Anyway, these are wrong, but I did not order these CDs. This is Great Depression. This is the industrial death sort of material I did for Great Depression. Three songs for industrial waste. That's why I titled that. Yeah, titled Industrial Waste. First song on there, Industrial Waste, 18 minutes long. And then two more songs that are, I think, respectively 8 and then 11 minutes. 20 copies. Great Depression is my, uh, normally, power violence band that is, like, 
focused on being sidetracked. And then I had this idea to sort of do this industrial doom, like Godflesh esque. When I say esque, it's because I actually play the drums, and then, you know, I expand upon that. So it's not quite industrial, as you would say. I really enjoyed this. I'm working on the next uh, Great Depression, I'm going from. 33 songs per release, 100 songs per release, whatever the uh, allow meant limit. Uh, 100 songs is what you can do on CDs. I just sound like fucking retard and I hate everything. So, yeah, these. This is not what I ordered. I ordered the second album for um, Mabolgia Me Calpria. So I have to go look this up. This is uh, Speed Ritual 149. Thought we already talked about this. So I have doubles of these. So the um, limit rate has gone up by double. Which, you know, that's 60, whatever. Who gives a fuck? But this is supposed to be the second fucking album. But we're going to talk about it. Gore Grind, Gore Noise. Just figured, dip my toes into that. I know enough about it. I've consumed enough of it. I've bought enough of it. I can play it. Figured I will. Play it on a Sun Beta lead with an eight string guitar. So, tell me someone else who does that. And then I'll tell you I don't care. Because I'm doing it. And that's what makes this sound the way it is. Besides the song structure and all that bullshit, it's the score noise, gore grind. I think this was like um, 20 songs or whatever. Had a third release. Second one came out a while ago. I think I talked about it. Third one back in December. Yay, hooray, whatever. A bunch of no one cares. Oh. <laughs> this one I was really happy with. This is a uh, wasted, not wasted. Um, oh, is it wasted? Yeah, I never fucking ordered that. So here's waste manage. I fucked up the fucking name on there. So it's waste, waste management, but it's supposed to be waste management. Eighty one first release. Um, was it thirteen songs? Lemon songs really ripping on Code Orange Kids very early, like first album and prior, like the demo shit. So that's what I was kind of going for. I get noise grind comparisons for some reason. Here's the back, it's about 20 minutes long. Really happy with it, how it came out. I mean, it was just something I did when I had my um, foot pedal really fucked up. Like, the second one wasn't working, so there was a lot of single foot. So that's why I developed into doing more like, um, like I said, Code Orange Kids. I have a second album, or second EP. When I was trying to go for, like, they have that Cycles EP that I didn't realize till I was, like, listening to them on YouTube and found that one. So, kind of similar to that. A little bit more brute force, a little bit more raw. But, that'll be probably the next order I have. Limited to 25. 
Yeah. Really thrilled to have. Of course, this is my shit. And I think that's about it. I got shit I'm working on this month. I think I'm going to go ahead and write up the lyrics for Dwelling Below. Uh, Dusage. I got this um, dark wave material with a Czech, no, a Russian name for rain. I'm sorry that I don't know exactly. I'm terrible because I haven't written lyrics. Uh, Corpse of Rise came out. Started tracking Inner Sphere for a three way split with. Um, Fall of Gnosis and Pairs of uh, fucking whatever the fuck. Three way split, whatever. They're using their songs for full length. So I'm using my songs, as in I wrote them for this. Every release is special to me. I mean, after the fact, if you want to collect them all, as a general collector myself, like, yeah, if I can't get everything. You know, give me your little two bits here, your two bits there. Put it on one CD. Hour long. I'm solid. Got some boiled tongue. I'm going to try and knock out fucking Tish material before I do Xavier's material. I already have Xavier's rap, but I have a three-part series for that. Cheers.